Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. So recently I picked up an Xbox controller and wanted to Bluetooth connect it to my Steam Deck and Raspberry Pi. But for some reason, both the Steam Deck and Raspberry Pi refused to connect to it. And in order to resolve this issue, we need to update the firmware of the controller. If you own an Xbox console, updating the controller firmware is super easy, but I don't own an Xbox. But there is a way to update the Xbox controller firmware on your PC. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll be doing this process on a Windows computer. So the first step is to go to your start menu and then in the search box you can type in store S-T-O-R-E and you want to go to the Microsoft Store. And then once you're here go to the search box and type in Xbox accessories and then press enter to begin your search. And then in the search results, you should see this icon here, which says Xbox Accessories. And then you want to click to open it. And then you need to click Install to install it. And then once it's installed, you can click on Open. Now the next step is to grab your Xbox controller. And if you look at the top, you'll see a little USB connector. And what you need to do is connect that USB connector to your laptop or computer using a USB cable. Now, if you've connected using the USB but you don't see this controller, there's a good chance the cable you're using is a power only cable. And those are typically used with phone chargers. The type of cable you should be using is a data and power USB cable. I believe the name of the cable is a USB sync cable. Right, so once you see your controller, click on these three little dots where it says more options and go to update now and then go to continue and then wait for the update to apply and then once the update has completed you should see this giant green check mark above your controller and then go to the left and click next and now that you have the latest firmware on your controller your Steam Deck and Raspberry Pi should be able to connect to it using Bluetooth much easier now I hope you found this video useful this has been Retro Crisis thank you for watching